Hey, Andy here from Sunshine State Insider, and today I'm at the Clearwater Marina. We're about to go on a dolphin spotting and sightseeing tour aboard the Clearwater Fun Boat. Oh, okay. So let's go along, hope to see some dolphins, and show you guys what this thing is all about. There are a lot of these dolphin watching trips all over Florida and a bunch right here in Clearwater, but this one costs $29 for adults, $19 for kids 4 to 12, and kids under 4 are free. And there is a family pack available for two adults and two kids for 89 bucks. That includes a haagen ice cream and the entire tour lasts about 90 minutes. But you do need to book this in advance, you just can't show up at the marina and go. Which is funny because the first time we tried to go on this tour we didn't know that. We showed up at the marina and they said, nope, you have to go on the website and book in advance. So I'll leave a few links in the description on how to reserve your spot and buy your tickets in advance so you don't get shut out like we did the first time. As we set sail here, probably the number one tip I would tell anybody who's coming to do this here in Clearwater specifically is do not be late and give yourself plenty of time. The traffic coming in over the causeway in Clearwater is notoriously awful and the marina has very tight parking. It's really, really easy to be late and these boats leave on time. When they say they're leaving at one o'clock, they're leaving at one o'clock. They're not going to wait for you. So give yourself plenty of time. You cannot get here too early. And you might want to bring a few bucks cash along too because the crew do politely request tips during this trip. Totally up to you. Tips are optional, but it does kind of avoid that social awkwardness that you might experience if you try to avoid tipping because you don't have any cash. Totally up to you, but it's recommended to bring some along just in case. All right, so let's go hopefully see some dolphins. And I say hopefully because this is actually my second dolphin watching trip. The other one was out of the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, and we totally struck out on dolphin sightings that time, which is a risk to consider. A dolphin spotting boat could just become a boat ride on some days, so it helps to be prepared for that possibility and go in with the attitude that this is going to be a fun boat ride, a fun tour, and the dolphins are a great bonus if you see them. But today, we actually had some great luck. And something we did out of curiosity as we were leaving here was open up the Zillow app to see what some of these houses along the intercoastal are worth. Man, these are some expensive, nice houses along here. And in a little bit, the tour is going to take us out to some huge waterfront mansions that are owned by some pretty famous local people. For about the first 30 minutes or so of the trip, we actually didn't see any dolphins yet. Our guide did give us a nice little tour of Clearwater Beach, and our boat captain was spinning some summertime tunes while we just enjoyed a beautiful day watching all the action on the water while we all looked for dolphins. And this is when I was starting to think this might just be a boat ride, not a dolphin spotting trip, but it still feels great to be out here. We did go just out past the intercoastal and into the Gulf of Mexico before turning around because the water was starting to get just a little too rough for the pontoon boat and the folks up front did get splashed a little bit. So if you're prone to seasickness, you might want to think about taking some drown meat or something before going out. The boat did rock a little bit more than I was expecting because it's a pontoon boat and the floor of the boat did get just a little bit wet. No big deal, but flip flops might be the smarter choice out here, especially if you're sitting in the front. But once we got back into the intercoastal, the dolphin sightings actually came fast and furious. And this was no longer just a nice boat ride, but became a legit dolphin spotting trip. After a few minutes of stopping and looking at dolphins, we continued to cruise along the intercoastal to take a look at some of the houses of Clearwater's wealthiest residents. 
Yeah, two more south of that with the orange rooftops there, kind of off the water a little bit with the white walls. They also started a restaurant right here in Clearwater. You can still go to the original I Golf de Bay. They are famous for their chicken wings and their waitresses. Take a go. There you go. Hooters. Kind of looks like a French house. That's because it did come from France. The owner was vacationing in France and liked the place he was staying at so much, he actually tore down the house and rebuilt it here in Clearwater. Now that's not cheap, so famous owner has that. You might have seen that house on FTV. That's the Hulk Hogan house right there. Beautiful day on the water. Very busy. It's Memorial Day weekend. Great, perfect weather. Everybody wanted to be out, including the dolphins. More dolphin sightings, including this pod that came right up next to the boat. But eventually it is time to head back in, so we're going to head back to the marina here. And this is something I would do again, and I would definitely recommend to do if you are on vacation here and you want to get out on the water and do something that you can't do at home. The Clearwater area is a great spot for boating, and our tour guide said that there is an estimated 250 dolphins that live here year-round, so you have a great chance of spotting one when you do one of these tours. And I will leave the link in the description on how to book one of these trips because, like I said before, you do need to book this in advance. You can't just show up and go. All right, so we just got off the Clearwater Fun Boat Dolphin Spotting Tour, and it was a good time. We actually saw quite a few dolphins, maybe about a dozen or so groups of dolphins, so that was a good little time. The tour guide took us on a little tour and showed us some millionaire homes, showed us where Hulk Hogan used to live, showed us where the founder of Outback and Hooters lived. It was a good experience. I will put the link in the description on how to do this, and there's a lot of dolphin tours, basically in Clearwater or really any Florida seaside town. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to learn about more fun things to do in Florida from the theme parks to the state parks, please like, share, subscribe, share this with one other person. That really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you guys next time.